My process of creating art starts with, honestly it never ends, so it's hard to say where it starts. Before I begin painting, I do a great amount of looking. Not just looking while thinking about my to-do list, but really looking. Paying attention to color, opacity, light, and texture. Paying attention to small things around me is really important for my practice and honestly can be a real challenge in the modern busy world. A large part of the process is looking inside myself as well. I'll ask myself what's worth examining in greater detail. Questions like what does freedom truly mean? Or how can I empower women with my art? How can I use my art to create positive social change and inspire others? The process of my work has been influenced by my surroundings, such as landscapes, plants, people. For my collection of artworks that I call glitches, I collect photo references of subjects I find fascinating and fit the project idea. It can be parts of architecture, a plant, a bird, or a person. Next, I make a bouquet out of these memories in 3D software. I think of this part as a collaboration with a machine. It helps me distort these memories into shapes that I couldn't even imagine before. I like looking at the composition in 3D from all the angles before choosing the final one. I enjoy working with color and shapes using a digital brush as well. It gives me more opportunities for experimentation and especially before starting an extra large artwork or working late at night. After working with digital software for a few years, my brain actually learned how I could distort shapes myself. So sometimes I paint without working on a digital file. I'll create completely from my mind or in plein air using the materials that I find handy like a coconut husk in Hawaii. The process is purely driven by emotions and surroundings. I often project my 3D rendered sketch on the final canvas. Some may ask why would I do that after drawing for two decades? And the answer is time. My favorite part is painting physically with a big brush. <laughs> so when I have the digital sketch, I'm too excited to start painting. The act of painting makes me feel most free and alive. I call my process productive meditation because it seems like nothing else in the world exists except me and the artwork. My mind relaxes and as a bonus, there's a final piece, a reward at the end. I love total silence and I also love blasting rock <laughs> loudly sometimes. Usually the beginning of the painting is the most dynamic and loud. Large gestures, splashes. Sometimes I let my dog do cheap paint. She's very good. <laughs> I love experimenting with texture. I'm very attracted to art that I want to touch or to mysterious techniques when people ask, how did you do this? I'm obsessed with thick paint, but also thin washes creating drips. I like finding a perfect balance between those techniques. I honestly could talk for hours and days about the painting process. My whole life feels like an artwork. Sometimes it's ugly and other times it's beautiful. <laughs> I agree when I'm sad, overwhelmed, happy or excited. I think all of us are creators, just too many are afraid to start.